Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Alright, so, uh, Habsburg's almost done. Okay, so here's the question. I was thinking, do we want to build a second Minerva or not? My current thought is... Probably not. Uh, people have laid down battle cruisers already. So the other thought is, rather than going with a second Minerva, we could go with an early battle cruiser. Now that being said, we don't have dreadnoughts unlocked yet. So I might go with the second Minerva, or alternatively, we build a successor to the. Uh, Habsburg. Minerva is so expensive per month, though, compared to the Habsburg. Can't lay down your own BCs and BBs. Yeah, stick to the supercruisers. And the good thing about, like, the supercruisers is we could probably build these into uh, fairly decent uh, light carriers in the future. That is uh, Minerva. I'm not going to lay it down this month. I'll lay it down next month. Uh, we don't need that, nope. Uh, Strider is damaged. I'm kind of surprised she survived that. A screen ship. We fight this battle. I... They usually... You need five techs and aircraft carriers to convert them. Yes, we're nowhere near that point right now. But, you know, when we get kind of into the 1920-ish range. Which tech allows for 4k tons of carrier displacement. Okay. This is this here is the run the hell away. We can outrun them. Barely. Unfortunately, apparently, we cannot enter British ports for some odd reason. We should be able to do that. Then we are, could hide the ship, like in one of these coastal areas, just hide it there. Yeah, okay. We are losing him. We'll do a uh, diversion up there. Do diversion this way. Yeah, it, there was no way that I wanted to fight this battle. I'd maybe take it at night, but even then, that's really risky, and only if I'm really in a good position. Yep, there we go. Battle was a draw. There are rumors of mutinies in the Italian fleet gain more stuff for a uh, blockade. Cool. Uh, Habsburg should be done this turn, I think. We are going to lay down the second Minerva now, so that'll be, uh, Schwarzenberg. Yeah. Okay, so if we wind up collapsing Italy and taking one of their ships, one thought is to grab, uh, this guy, Regina Margarita. The other thought is to try to grab one of their, uh, armored cruisers. If we get one of the Puglias done in time, Oh yeah, 12% technology research. I should do that right now. Okay, uh, so yeah, we'll get uh, that up this turn and that too. Unfortunately, we are losing a bit of money, but hopefully that should be temporary as we do get some more destroyers online in uh, two months and three months respectively. So even a little bit of loss I think we can manage. Uh, I think it is time to rebuild another one of our uh, battleships. 
as we do get uh, Donnell back. Okay, so the Italian ship. Oh my God! I think Britain had a uh, flat or a uh, magazine hit on their CL Pearl now as well. Unexpected coastal bombardment battle. Are, are you sure this is truthfully, you know, unexpected? Like, suddenly we decided that, oh god, we have to go on this battle. We have no, no control over it. We have no control over this coastal bombardment mission. We were just out and suddenly this coastal bombardment mission happened. It's a big cruiser force for a bombardment mission. Yeah, I'll take it. This would have been better against the 12-inch battery. Uh, I'm hoping that we don't find any Italian ships when we get close in. And it is nighttime, so... Yep, 12-inch battery right there, same spot. Yeah. Uh... Oof. Wait, no, no, no. That's going uh, this way. What are you? They have warships around here. Definitely. Uh, that's in a half-decent position to torpedo us. So we probably don't want that happening. Go down to 20 knots. Reform the group. Our group's struggling to uh, reform. There's our bombardment target. Now that being said, given Rule of the Waves 1, uh, Coastal Batteries had a uh, tendency to move around. So I'm not completely sure that the 12-inch battery would necessarily be here. Alright, so if Italy didn't know that we were here by the fact that we shot one of their ships earlier, I'm pretty certain they do now. So, a couple of our cruisers have kind of gotten lost. And we're up against the uh, bombardment target. Okay, come on, guys. So we're around. Now, that being said, that's probably a good thing, since that has put a lot of fire into that bombardment target. And now we're passing ships close to it at 16 knots. This should, this should not be hard. Oh, oh my god, my bird's being a little snot. There you go, coastal environment target done. Let's uh, head back to Catero. Yeah, I'm not seeing the... Uh... Oh, oh crap, I didn't realize that was why it paused. Uh... On the other hand... Okay, come on, follow. Alright, so the Italian cruiser force is definitely here. On the other hand, I think they have turned around, so we're gonna try to actually cut them off up here. Oh, that's important to know. So they have a second division over here. Probably sink something. Probably, but they could also sink something. That's the important part. We need to be, we need to handle this carefully. All right, so. There are ships there we are kind of sailing to. Like that. Yeah, that ship just came out of nowhere at uh, point blank torpedo range. Now, that being said... Oh, come on, destroyers. You should have unleashed something. Okay, so now it's a duel between me and this cruiser here. 
And I do believe that cruiser has now uh, turned... Nope, he's still kind of sitting here. Oh yeah, our other ones are 21 knots back here, right? So that's probably why we are losing the other ships. Alright, so I'm going to turn this way. So that's a Lombardia class CA. Really not that great. That is a destroyer. We are by Bari though, so any damage we do to them, they're going to be able to get into port fairly quickly and any damage they do to us is going to last a little bit longer. Now Dunnow did take a few hits. Yeah, she's still in uh, good shape. Our ammo is also going to be a little lower than theirs, so I think it is probably the smart decision to just retreat here. Head uh, all the way back to base. And then hope for a uh, bit better of a mission next time. Oh, now it is daytime. I would have rather taken this, but, ah, uh, we're already headed back. Mission's complete, and we uh, damaged a uh, Italian armored cruiser at the same time. I think we got the better of the Italian fleet there at the end. So that should give us a few more points. Does it? Yep. Yeah, ship score, also in favor of us. Uh, ship details. So we did more damage to that one than it did to us. Then we took some damage and we gave a little bit more damage to this guy too. Yeah, another another point of prestige. Alright, so we have two Minerva's building. We have two destroyers which are about to come online. Our submarines are seven turns out. These guys are four and five turns respectively. I'm going to move my research down to 11% just to conserve a little bit more money. Um, oh no. Okay. This is not bad. We also have both of our, uh, we have our second Habsburg up in service now. Okay, so if we collapse Italy, I kind of... This would probably be the ship I would grab at the moment. If I wouldn't grab that, I'd probably grab maybe uh, that guy, Liguria. One thing we should do is probably build larger docks for when we do get battleships. Uh, Southwest Africa. Like, um, lock him up and throw away the key. Auto resolve. Okay, so the intercepted ship escaped. Uh, we are no longer blockading them. Do they get something else in service? Maybe, uh, Britain left us? Okay, two destroyers commissioned. We sank an enemy merchant and lost a friendly sub. Battleship engagement. Uh, we have five battleships right now. I will take it. Oh, baby, some British ships have joined. Wait, where are the British ships? What are you guys? Right, so you're formed on Zrini. You're also formed on Zrini. You should not be formed on Zrini. You should be formed on Habsburg. Where are the British ships? That's it. That's our... Thank you, Britain. Uh, I mean, you've contributed something. It, it's it certain this ship certainly exists. It is in this battle alongside our forces. Thank, thank you, thank you, Britain. You can tell that I am excited by the quality of the British ship by the tone in my voice, right? Unknown ship sighted. Oh dear god, that's close. Um, actually, how fast is that British ship? They do want it to form... It is 19 knots, so it is compatible with our battle line. So that's probably the enemy CA division. Unfortunately, it's now night time. This is where things get hairy. 
Alright, bring us down to 18 knots. Um, Utah, or Yulon, not Utah. Yulon experiences some engine issues. Wait, what? Are we caught in a pincer here? Alright, move up. That ship's, whatever those guys are. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Turn away, turn away. Oh, God. That was bad. That was... You know, that was not what we wanted to see. Alright, so we need to keep some ships here out in front with us. For this. Okay, so Novara is over there. We probably want to try to regroup with Novara. We're only going to move 16 knots. Salamander loses contact. Great, uh... Great night combat capabilities. In the meantime, that was not good. So, yeah, this is, this is risky. Habsburg sights an unknown ship. There's an unidentified ship there. I don't know what it is. They're saying a destroyer of some sort. Alright, we have an unidentified ship heading across here. Uh, we can potentially cross their T. Unfortunately that didn't. It looks like our battleship division has split a bit. Nice shot! Nice shot, Wild Fang! Oh, good shot! Oh, that's good. Whatever that is, is now hit and damaged. Something else has fired a torpedo. To roll, uh... Not as good of a shot, if I'm gonna be honest. So that's now identified as a battleship. So we're gonna sail roughly this way, and then turn on to roughly this course. This is a mess. So their fleet's over here right now. Okay, we're going to go 18 knots. Oh. God. But yeah, we hit something. We put a torpedo into something. Uh, they can probably get to Encona if they want to. Okay. So we do have a cruiser out in front of us. Go down to 17 knots. Let's let the division reform up a little better. That's probably it. Yep. Whatever that ship is. We have sunk it. Alright. That is the battleship, or battleship of the Amalfi class. Um, uh, Italy? I I Italy. Uh, it's 1905. Hold up. He, uh... Yeah, still, it's... The Wright brothers are still the only people to have flown, according to what we know, assuming that there wasn't somebody else. The second person, or the second, okay, th technically third, because the Wright brothers are two people, but the second person to fly, and, you know, the guy who the Europeans all see fly, doesn't do it until late 1906. I don't think you need anti-aircraft guns right now, Italy. Okay, that ship has now taken four torpedoes. Um, 
I'm pretty certain it's dead. Yeah, now it's sunk. Uh, actually, how long is it going to be till day? It is? No, it is kind of summer, so it probably won't be that long. We might be able to just hang out here a little bit and then see if uh, we can find anything else. Um, that's being said to be a destroyer. Some sort. So we have confirmed one Italian pre-dreadnought sunk. I almost said dreadnought there, and that's like, well, that's, uh, that's inflating our kill count. Claiming a ship type which doesn't even exist sunk. Alright. Let's, uh, let's hope we get something good here. We are currently not seeing anything. I'm going to go to fast speed. We're going to do this sort of approach. I fully do not know where the Italian fleet has gone to at this point. We're not spotting them. They could be running to, uh... Venezia. So I say what we do is we hang out by the sunk battleship until the morning and then rescue its survivors. Actually, I think we just figured out where they're going. Um, they're going this way. So, I'll, yeah, they're going to uh, Ancona, looks like. I'm going to go faster. Should probably be very fast. I'm not gonna go ultra fast quite yet. Yeah, we respect our opponent. We're gonna rescue their survivors in the morning. We're, I mean, kind of just traveling through the. A okay, or if that just happens and Italy just goes into port and no survivors are picked up because Italy are cowards. We have sunk the battleship Roma. So what happened? So. It took the torpedo from Wild Fang, it detached, it was sinking, and then just for the giggles we put three more into it. Hi, like a G-Man. Hi, G-Man, how's it going? Uh, anything else we got? Not much else. Uh, nothing else. Only the uh, pre-dreadnought. But yeah, because Italy decided to go in port, we couldn't rescue the crew in a few hours. Although let's be let's be real, um, in role playing that crew would have been rescued. When I'm role playing that crew. Thank you been... all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.